And the word says in Colossians 3.18 to 21, Wives, submit to your husbands as it is fitting in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives and do not be harsh with them. Children, obey your parents in everything, for this pleases the Lord. Fathers, do not provoke your children, lest they become discouraged. So we've heard in the Bible, in Ephesians uh, 5.22 to 25, about um, wives submit to your husbands as to the Lord. And he says, honor your men. Honor your men, not love your men, honor your men. And uh, later on, he says, on Ephesians again, men, love your woman as Christ loved the church. Why do I say it like that? Because we see here that in Colossians, is saying, men, love your woman, but do not be harsh to them. The instructions are clear. Wives, submit to your husbands as it is fitting in the Lord. That's it. And then it says, husbands, love your wives and do not be harsh with them. It also says, children, obey your parents. Obey your parents in everything. But it says, fathers, do not provoke your children lest they become discouraged. I keep saying that because that's the order of the family. We are quick as saying, we need our woman to love us, love us, love us, honor us, honor us. But it is more than that. A lot of responsibility falls on the head of the household, head of the family. Too many of us are out there saying that we are the head of our family, but don't act like it. We want to be honor as one, but do not behave like one. Also, yes, we are to expect our wives to honor us, but we must love them and not be harsh to them. Again, Colossians 3, 18 to 21, very specific instructions. Same when it comes to the order of the family, God, men, woman, children. Also, as part of the order and responsibility of the father, he says in Proverbs 22, 6, in the Old Testament, says, Train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he's old, he will not depart from it. The way that we raise our children, the way that we speak life into them, the way that they see us behave, they're also getting trained by that. The way that we speak to our wife, the way, the way that the wife speaks to the husband, our daughters and sons see that. It says, do not be harsh to your wife. That's a good set of instruction, quite clear. And speak life into your children because they grow up to be what you train them to be. So on that, let's pray. Father God, I pray for clarity. I am not perfect, Father, but I continue to want to do your work, Father God. Put that clarity in my heart and my mind, Father, and block anything that is not of your approval in my life, Father God. Open the doors that you want me to walk through and close the doors that you do not want me to, Father God. I am disobedient at times, yes, Father, and you continue to forgive me because you are merciful. You are a merciful God, Father. So put that in my heart that when others do wrong unto me, Father God, like you, I can forgive them, Father God. I ask, Father, that you put the strength in my heart to do what is right. Forgive those who trespass against me, Father God. Give me the wisdom to do what is right and clarity to see what is not, Father God. Allow me to put one foot in front of the other and knowing that I'm going, Father God, in the direction that you set for me to walk through, Father. Please, Father God, allow me to be alive for those in need of one, Father God. Please, Father, put words in my mouth that speak life unto my wife. Please, Father, put words into my mouth that speak life unto my children, unto my neighbor. Let them see you through me, Father God. I pray, Father, that you take all hindrance and all curses from me, Father God, and my family. I pray for a mantle of protection over this home, Father. Thank you, Father, for always keeping us in your favor, even when we don't see it, Father God. I know you're keeping me in your favor because somehow I wake up and breathe life still. 
In the name of Jesus Christ, I want to thank you, Father God, for this glorious day. I declare victory for us, Father God, for us that are talking to you right now into our hearts, Father. I pray victory in our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that victory for the blood that Christ gave on the cross for us, Father. You are a merciful Father. You're a merciful God. None of us deserve your salvation, and yet you promise us, Father God, if we can go to you through the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you.